everyone, how's it going? Obviously this is kind of late and I'm trying to get a couple of different videos together. So this is some lifting footage over the last two and a half weeks and I cut a lot of it out there. So you're not gonna see any of the light pressing we did, any of the accessory work that we did except for one thing, um, none of the squatting. I'm just trying to go and focus on one thing which is deadlifting. And the reason I wanted to focus on that is because Dave Goyce from Comerica Muscle, he said something uh, in one of my videos, which uh, I was curious about because I, I didn't think it would affect me. But he asked me, did I think once I was actually able to go back deadlifting that I was going to run into any mental blocks that I was going to be afraid to re-injure myself? And I thought, you know, probably not because deadlifting didn't really hurt me. So we started uh, the first week and did some very light deadlifting. I think we used an axle and we did like 145 and did a bunch of reps and I felt fine. And then the next week, uh, I was like, man, you know, the doctor said that I could start deadlifting in January and it's March. So I should be fine doing this. So this is basically the first session and that's what you're going to see right now. One, two, yeah, my hair's sorry, it's so bad, three, four, five, six, seven, And you can see there, I, I'm like, why did I go 10 reps? I was so excited and 315 just felt so good and so natural. I did 10 reps. I, I never do 10 reps with 315. Like, I don't do 10 reps with deadlifts, period. Because number one, I'm, I'm lazy and fat. And anything over five reps is cardio. And number two, that's crazy. Uh, you know, five reps is pretty good. So we kept going from there and did a couple more. So this is the first day. Drive. Three. Hips. I think five is a good number for you. One. Yeah, that too. That's another part of it. That <laughs> now, once we hit 405, I said, you know what? That's it. I, everything feels good. Everything's going well. I even did no belt just to kind of feel it. But I didn't want to push it. I, I know I could have done more, but I stopped. And then uh, the, the Wednesday, we decided to do some stupid stuff. Uh, Richard, I want to do some grip work. But I did not want to do Axel, so we got really dumb, really dumb, and did something that we've been talking about for a long time, and it was cold, it was around 28 degrees Fahrenheit, so that's below zero Celsius, something, you know, negative something. And uh, yeah, breathing sucked a lot, I do not recommend doing any sort of cardio when you're breathing that deeply.
There you go. It's cold. Go on, Glenn, you're almost there. Couple more feet. How'd it feel? It's the cold hand. And oh man, it wrecked our hands. And after we did this, uh, we went inside and we did a bunch of accessory work um, with fat grips and the, the handle with rows to do that. And then we did some squats. Now, this next week, we went back and did the deadlift. So here is some more deadlift footage. And this day, Glenn just tore it up. So I really had this plan that I just wanted to ramp up the weight a little bit and see how it went. And Glenn, middle of the workout, he's like, man, you know, I'm just feeling good. And he's just, he just wanted to go for a PR. So we went for a PR, and I hadn't planned on going that heavy, so I ended up uh, expending all of my energy. And I can't say that it's the diet or just I use too much energy, but yeah, I did not have anything left in me to, to pull 505. Uh, so Glenn got a max, which is awesome for him. Now, I know that that's not a true max because I know he could have deadlifted more uh, when we were practicing for the car deadlift, but we never actually maxed out. So we looked back through the old videos and the old records, and this is an official PR because we actually have footage, and I know he's just going to keep going up from here because uh, he's doing pretty good on the deadlifts. And then uh, we did some block pulls. So the block pulls are here, and those are pretty good. Now, uh, what I'm going to be doing right now is uh, two different things. Um, so please let me know if you think I should do this or if I'm wasting my time if you're, if you're watching this because really I, I don't want to waste my time. So the first thing, Brent and anybody else that watched the video that Brent asked me to review, I spent some time trying to discuss what I was talking about on conventional versus sumo, why it shouldn't look the same. So do you want me to actually put that together? It's not a tutorial. It's just why they should be different and what you're trying to accomplish differently. And the second thing is this week's deadlift session, we decided to go back on 531, and uh, I spent a lot of time recording myself from the side. Now, that is something that I normally do not do uh, for a lot of different reasons, but I wanted to maybe go over that and what is wrong with my deadlift form, because again, nobody's deadlift form perfect, okay? Don't let anybody tell you that it's perfect. There's always things that you can do better. And it's a couple of things that are different about my deadlift form, what you might want to think about and what you definitely don't want to think about. Let me know if that's something you guys would actually want to see uh, or, or if I should just not bother it and just put some lifting footage out there. Because like I said, I'm slow with editing and uh, when I'm editing, I'm not watching shows and uh, Netflix is just pumping out all these awesome shows. I, I just finished watching Iron Fist and I'm watching Vikings. So my wife, my wife and I, we watch a lot of the shows together and it's like, okay, well, I gotta, I gotta get this video, I gotta get this video. So let me know if you guys wanna see that. And uh, Dave mentioned something about a squat tutorial video. If you guys are having issues with your squat that you want somebody that's uh, a novice to, to go over what works for me, uh, what we're doing with Glenn. Let me know, and let me know what you're struggling with and what you'd like some input on, and I will try and get that out there if that's gonna help you guys. As always, go with something heavy. Thanks for watching.